Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech Doomsday Vault. Episode 28, Pied Piper Refugee. Yeah, that barn, the flooring is really helping the duck not be in a huge pile of filth all the time. That's nice. We're almost ready for him. Whoever's responsible for that last, uh... Okay, so detox lungs over here need to be maybe important so that we actually move the lungs in place. Okay, we are ready. I've got uh, the little barracks for eight children with toys. Granted, they're baby toys, but whatever. And then an adult room for Marty. Um, I am going to send Shield and Kadath out here on patrol. So if a warg or other hostile creature tries to mess with them, I have combatants at the ready uh, to render aid. And let's go. Oh my lord. That called us bar. Um, so they are to the northwest. Let me probably scare the poo out of them with a military escort. Because there are still there's literally a warg in their path. So that's that's why I didn't want to risk uh, them getting warged. And for scheduling, all of the children are going to be set to children's zonings, and then Marty to underground. Come on, Armstrong, get away from that warg. I'm just going to shoot the warg. Oh, it's edible. Well, look at that. All right, Kadath. You keep walking with them. And the last warg out here is to the east, near where Sappo was. Okay. Uh, I am going to raffle off the uh, Marty and the children to you guys. So, I'm not going to have you be able to rename them, because there's just too many people to rename. It's too much work. Oh, and polling is back. Hey, look at that. Awesome. Polling is back online. Uh, but, yep, yeah, raffle timer's up. Uh, who should get the lungs? So, I'm going to have Tech, Cam, Sapo, or Che. the choice and the top two in this poll are eligible for lungs I'm making lungs enough for two people oh, man they, uh, I am also going to require a second comms console and possibly a third I'll make I'll make one for now one extra one but I'll watch to see if I'm going to need a, a, a third. I 
In terms of food, no drugs for all of them, and standard food for all of them. Uh, they are Genie, Genie, Pigskin, Yeetikin, Baseliner, Genie, Hussar, Hussar Child, Jesus, uh, Baseliner, and Genie. I'm going to have so much ground art all over the place. Yeah, no kidding. In terms of their health and preferences, Marty, because uh, I need to do this. Let me just copy and paste. Oh, Marty's actually a bit of an intellectual. So, Marty, you are a teetotaler genie. Um, you're not very good at cooking, so I'm going to take you off the cook priority, which I already just booted you. You enjoy it, but you're not skilled at it. I don't want to puke. Cindy, you are a genie who's a masochist, kind, good at crafting. And yeah, I have crafting enabled and you don't have any health problems. He has a torso scar. Uh... Golagog. You are just a little pyromaniac child. Oh, that's good. The Edekin is a quick quick sleeper. No health problems. A slowpoke wimp for Tom. No health problems. You must be a genie. Yep, you're just a six-year-old genie with no skills. Armstrong is a Hussar, so combat skills, but nothing else, no health problems. Tabby, no health problems, and you're delicate, baseliner. And then Thibodeau is a genie with a peg leg. So Thibodeau is more vulnerable than the rest. All right, one more minute to vote in this poll above my head. And then, uh, Marty, yeah, I will have you take part in childcare in training and teaching and the like. They are yours after all. It's cool to see children of the new uh, humanoids. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Should I? Yeah, I probably should just go hunt this warg before it can hunt me back. Will the Hussar child need drugs? Uh, quite possibly, yes. Which is, um... They should have some in their possession, though. So what is it, Tom? Which one's a Hussar? I only go to the work. Hussar was Armstrong. No, Armstrong did not show up with... Uh... Oh, you know what? Actually, no. Because that only applies when they turn 13. Yeah. It's also because um, drugs for anyone under 13 are super dangerous. Uh, the the likelihood of you ODing when you're a child on hard drugs is like pretty much guarantee. Like you're just gonna die. So Cam and Tech are going to get the lungs. Got it. Uh, whatever happened to the poll about the bioregen? I um I didn't catch that one. The result of it. Yep, see, the warg's hunting me. And this is why I wanted to kill it first. Yes on regen? Okay, I will, uh, I'll have you vote on whom in just a sec. Who should go for regen? So the choices were Shay for a nose, Or destroyer for a scar.
And the raffle timer's up, so Marty, you are now Frankenstein. Oh, great. Actually, Frankenstein, you already have Nella, right? So I'm going to reroll that. Lady Shell. That's a nicer... Nicer name for the, uh... The Pied Piper of Children. Solwain, you are the Cindy? El Crabs? You're the pigskin? Oh man, that's a name for a pigskin. Jamie, you are the Edikin. Can Edikin children? Oh yeah, they can use Animal War Call. Oh, that's good to know. Flurry. That's a pretty fitting name for the Slowpoke, I think. Flurry McBride. <laughs> and then we have K or Kai. You are the genie. Highland Timber. You are the uh, Cyclogusef Hussar. Moxie. I'll just call you a Moxie. I like your Moxie. And then Nightbot self assigned the last one. You know, Nightbot, I will allow it. You can be the wimpy, delicate uh, child. Oh, you're already Shane. True. Uh, so then Moxie, I'm re stickiest. You get Moxies. I forgot about that. The delicate stickiest. So they're here for quite some time. They're here for two weeks. Another thing I might need to do is, uh, I might need to just hunt, even if there's a rot chance because of the quantity of refugees that I'm um, fit to feed. I don't know about providing them extra clothes. All nine of them have tattered clothing. And, uh, it would be extraordinarily expensive to try to fix that for them, I think. All right, Shay, you're going to get a new nose. A romper factory. <laughs> exactly. I just don't have the fabrics for it. That's the thing. And I definitely don't have the hydro benches at the moment either because I have so many more mouths to feed that I might need to set up a a, th a fourth farm just to feed these refugees because there's quite a lot of them. And we're also heading into the, uh, into the winter uh, where I'm not going to be able to grow outdoors. That's not going to be an option anymore. The Tinctoria benches can't be turned into rice. A rice requires a grow light. So these aren't lit with grow lights. Rice will never grow. The TLDR is essentially flowers in Tinctoria, because Tinctoria is technically a flower, can grow in 31% light. Everything else requires 51% light, except for like Nutrifungus uh, and Fibercorn, I think. What is Fibercorn? Yeah, Fibercorn is also a 31%. And then, uh, Nutrifungus is a zero. If you, if it is late, you kill it. It's possible for us to set up a Nutrifungus, um, a, a Nutrifungus grow operation, because it, all it requires is a hydro bench and not lights. In fact, it, you need to be, it needs to be dark. Uh, but fungus is probably, how do we feel about fungus? Despised. So yeah, it would be a little gross. It would make people sad. How much blue fur for the uh, tribal kids to wear? Oh, I don't, I don't know. A lot. Uh, if you're considering it's like four pieces of clothing, 200 per kid, eight kids, you're looking at 
you know, even if we put him in rompers, well, what is the, let me look at the romper real quick. So romper, is it, is it skin layer? Okay, a romper skin layer. So if we all put them in rompers, it's 30 fabric per child. So that's not as bad. Still, it's way more fabric than I currently have. Uh, would fungus to campfield be worth it? You know, fungus to campfield would be worth it. I'm not about to um, to change priorities that haven't been voted on, but that that would be a totally reasonable route is to go um, fungus to campfield. The, the only advantage of rice really in hydroponics is it grows so fast, whereas nutrifungus has a soil sensitivity I think 70%. Which means it doesn't it's not it doesn't really benefit growing in hydroponics like rice does. Uh, let me double check that. Soil sensitivity is 15%. So yeah, um Nutrifungus would grow barely faster in hydroponics as a result. If we had the tunneler meme and I could throw down um fungal gravel, that would be a way more economical approach, but I don't have fungal gravel. We're not tunnelers. Gravel is only for tunnelers, yes. Yeah. Here, I will, uh, I'll show you. If you look, new buildables, fungal gravel. You have to be a tunneler in order to put down fungal gravel. So fungal gravel, for those that don't know, is a type of floor that turns stone into a 70% fertile soil. Um, allowing basically undergrounders like us to farm nutrifungus which is a fungus that grows in the dark, in caves, or underground, um, making it very easy to feed an underground society. I chose not to be tunnelers for the challenge. Oh, good. Thomas is setting things on fire. Because fungal gravel is honestly overpowered, like super overpowered when you're an undergrounder. Because you can just have like infinitely large farms and make infinite cam fuel, you know, a ridiculous amount of cam fuel. Thomas, it's pretty rude to um, light someone else's room on fire. It's one thing to be a jerk and light your own room on fire, but you're supposed to not light our rooms on fire. Okay, He's, she's not listening to me. I haven't noticed that the comms consoles have been uh, full up. Could you stop? Dear Lord, quit it, kid. Thank you. Shay. Let's get that nose. And then Shay was also due for lungs. So actually, before you do the nose, let's get both detox lungs. Installed. And then throw you into the regen cycle. Need a timeout mechanic for kids? I mean, he was a refugee and we accepted him and we knew he was a pyro, so... It's like, we only have ourselves to blame. So I'm working on lung number three, and then we'll get lung number four soon. Oh, Toxoid Gang. Hey, everybody. To the underground. So it's two groups. They have not yet landed. Uh, doing a quick scan to make sure that nobody is dangerously out here, and I don't think they are. Mayhem. It's time to be mayhemic. That's a word now. I just made it up.
I'm gonna pull the I'm gonna pull the uh, the deep drill up so it can't get destroyed. Uh, this is an open door, so there is a valid path in. All right, let's see what we've got. A uh, bunch of brawlers. They're all brawlers except for one chain shotgunner. Got it. Now, the underground zone, I'm going to update to not allow anyone set to underground uh, anywhere dangerous. Keep them totally out of the kill box. Uh, no point in stopping this surgery because it's already done. having everyone now show up to the fight. All right, probably one more shot from Mayhem, and Mayhem will have to get out of there. Don't know if it's... Uh, yeah, let's just get out. I don't think it's going to be hot enough. But it's a brawler raid, so it's not that bad. Might as well use combat command. Not a lot of opportunity to do that normally. Okay, here we go. Yep, shoot it, Kadath. That's what I want you to do. Hey, it's Tynan. Tynan, you ugly, misogynistic, slothful punk, has come to raid our community. Because of course he has. I might end up losing some turrets here, because they are not retargeting very quickly. And, yep, lost a turret, but they lost way more than... Uh, that's a pretty good bargain, if you ask me. And Tyne... Oh, you're breathing fire. Good for you. Your name is Pex? Okay. Strange name. Strange flex, but okay. Hi, Tynan. Sorry. Got you killed. Uh, yep, yeah, we're done. And now I am... Got the pleasure of undrafting everybody. Got to do it really carefully. Tech Noir, you go back and do the next operation on Shay. And uh, everybody else, you can fight fires. It's not uh it's not critically hot in here yet. And for me to vent it out, I just have to uh, uh click this vent. Should be fine. Yaroslav, I actually have a different task for you. You cremate the corpses. But not that one. Actually, that one's special. He's got a plasteel helmet on, so strip him. And then... Any of the others? Let me check. No. No. I don't see any other uh, recon gear on anyone else. Hey, Big C Panda. Yeah, almost a year. Oh, it's getting a little hot in here. Put these fires out quick. So we'll start to get burned. Oop. 
pretty quickly, the temperature in here will normalize. Um. Oh. That must be a critical fail. No, 94%. Well, plus the vitals monitor, plus the bed. So you really tooled her up badly. So we're going to make yet one more lung, it looks like. So Cathanon, I'm going to have you start fabricating. Things happen. Uh, looks like we're going to have a lot of melee weapons to smelt. Care of those raiders. Also, it doesn't really make sense to put corpses in here anymore. Just let uh, Yaroslav cremate. Okay, it's the temperature is hot now, but bearable, as it is normalized pretty quickly. There's only a tiny bit of silver left there, so I'll get the remainder of the silver and then I'll patch up that hole. So what was the failure chance there? Uh, yeah, it was... I critical failed. Rolled a... Rolled that 2%. It happens. Hey, Kadath, now that I'm thinking of it, where is your breach axe? I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to put breach axes here, too. So that I can find them. Is cleaning up pollution outside something I've considered? Yes, actually I had just mentioned it that now that the Pollux trees have dealt with the pollution that was in this cave system uh, I would consider starting to clean up the outside and I was planning on actually pulling for it about uh, whether we spend time doing that or not. Actually, it's too late in the day to bother having Kadath come out there. So how about a poll for that? Do we start cleaning outdoor pollution? Some... Um, some spots that we might want to consider would be here, where it's rich soil. Because there's obviously a farming advantage to having a cleared rich soil spot. Or uh, to clean it up around our, our river here, our pond, just for the aesthetics, because it's ugly and could look nice. So here's the pollution overlay. I don't think there's really anywhere else that would make sense other than those two spots. But if you have other um, spots that you think I should consider, uh, feel free to suggest them now. How can I clean it if I can't build outside? Oh, uh, cleaning is a physical cleaning task, much like shoveling snow. So all I would need to do is to go to the um, zone here and do pollution removal area and just paint a pollution removal. I don't need to use a pollution pump to do it. There's three ways to clean manually, pollution pump or Pollux tree. Um, so you can use any of those three and Pollux trees and manual don't require buildings. So I, I don't have to break the rules for that. Oh boy, that's a lot of hops. Um, these here should be critical and critical. Yeah, anything built outside counts. I, I really early on made the mistake of uh, putting barricades out here, but I've since removed them. And technically these are indoors because this is a part of a cave system. So this isn't building outdoors. It's still a cave. 
So hypothetically, anywhere that there's caves, I could build in them. So I guess one more thing to delete pollution is if there was um, if there was stony soil in a cave system, I could clear the pollution where the stony soil is and plant there and light it and enclose it uh, or just plant there in general. Like I, I could clear this out and put Nutrifungus there. Uh, but that would be the only cave system that I think is applicable because there's not a lot of caves here on this map tile. But it looks like... I'll, I'll One more minute to vote on this, but it looks like, yay, you guys won it. Alright, there's the lung. So as soon as you start stop wandering around, I'll install it. And maybe this time I'll install it with Cam, who's a slight... Slightly better doctor. The eggs aren't being hauled either. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why they're just just not doing it. We got better things to do. So three more days until I probably have to harvest the chocolate. So they got about sixty mid sixties growth before I ran out of time. Which isn't terrible. We should be able to get some chocolate off those trees. Just not a whole lot of it. There's been problems with the egg boxes since they've been added. Yeah. Yeah. Completely agree. Where should I clear pollution? Around the entrance for the kids. In the caves or rich soil spots. So the advantage of in the caves is um, there's the possibility of having it be like a nature area for children. Um, if I walled up the caves on on the edges and then connect connected my mining tunnels to the caves, these would be like outdoor areas that like kids could wander around. Just to explain why I would bother. Um, yep. She is no longer confused. Good. Uh, lung transplant. We want right lung. With real meds. Clean up all that vomit first. Where'd she go? And then Cam, you run the surgery. Because I don't think Shay is going to trust. In fact, Shay, you're going to have a negative feeling towards, uh... <laughs> towards Technowire. Botched my surgery. Minus 20. Yeah. Oops. These things happen. And then let's go ahead and just carry Shay to a bioregion cycle. You know, I'm actually a little worried about it. Uh, the bioregion cycle doing the wrong things. So uh, I'm not going to kick it off just yet. Because there is a risk of the bioregion cycle um, healing the wounds and not the nose. I've had that happen to me before. It's really annoying. So how's the children's learning coming? 94, 97, 98. Oh yeah, they're fine. They're all in the 90s except for one. Well, except for Nightbot. Nightbot, you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, you want to learn from nature and stare at the clouds. Okay. The robot dreams of... Nature. Cute. In the caves, I could use tox pumps. Yes. Pollution pumps. Yeah, they'd be allowed. Not really sure it'd be super necessary considering the pollution. Well, no, it's a pretty considerable amount of pollution. I take that back. All right, one more minute to vote on where to clean up pollution. I'm 
starting to get a little bit more uh, dyes. So I'm going to have you guys, because I have a very limited supply of dyes, I'm going to have you guys decide on what to dye and where to dye. Whether it's the brewery, bedrooms, temple, craft room, etc. I'll pull for that as well. A party! Nice. Oh, Shay's vomited on children in the party. Around the entrance for the kids. All right, you guys got it. So taking a look at the pollution overlay, I think having a big, beautiful blue pond out front would benefit the morale of everyone. And I will also try to include all of the rich soil as well, so that we might be able to grow rice or something at the water's edge. All right, I think that's, uh, I think that's correct. And take the mask off of Shay, yes. I actually don't have anything better to put on her at the moment. Um. I will do a simple helmet, I guess, out of steel. This is a big party. Nope, there goes all my food. <laughs> Shield's like, oh, dang it. Ah, <laughs> oh, child labor. There we go. So, Shay, let's get this new simple helmet on your head. And have you enter for bioregen. I'm going to have her wait until she's healed up everything else first. Which should be pretty soon. Yeah, they all ate together. There's not even enough chairs. I mean, I hadn't really designed this room to accommodate such a uh, such a populace. I could add more tables, but I don't think it's urgent. Normally, we don't all eat at the same time. I am going to do another smelt weapon. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I am stickiest. Call in a comet supplier. And I'll just sell... Um, I'll just sell the weapons that I have here. Because I have a lot of, like, tox grenades and other junk that I don't particularly care for, but we have loads of. Put the pool table vertical so I can put more chairs. If I wanted to add more chairs, I would do something like this, where I would just put tables in here. But technically, this whole... This whole thing, it's hard to see, but I'll paint my dining room in plans. My dining room is all of this. This is all one contiguous room, which has technically the brewery is still the dining room. The whole thing is one continuous room, which means, and I do this every now and then in my colonies, where I'll position tables periodically throughout the colony so that you can eat on any of these tables and you still benefit from the extremely impressive dining room that spans the entire 
um, span of the colony. And it's it's a way to get sort of mood min-maxed. Yeah, technically the power room is even in the dining room too. True. More steel. Out in the open. Power dining. Yep. Exactly. It works honestly real well. And for this, it, it has a dual benefit. Another one with a continuous dining room like this also means that it's really easy to vent out if it gets too hot. So that way, if I have a, a huge fire in the kill box, I can vent it out. Oh my lord, are you kidding me? Divine Pope of Nam rescued 10 outlanders from an enemy jail. He wants me to guard them. For eight days. Uh, you want me to take 10 prisoners. Okay, um, do we guard 10 prisoners for eight days? Just keep, keep on, uh, Piling in the people. Or not. It's up to you. You guys vote. I've got to say, the floor art hasn't been too extreme. Which is nice. It's not like there's chalk everywhere. Kadath. Oh, yeah, that's an important task. I'm going to have Kadath start clearing out debris. Do I have the food capabilities? Uh, well, I could try to crypto sleep them or worst case scenario, do nutrient paste or something like that. I'd figure it out. Calling up bulk goods trader, you know, there's always methods to get more food. Go to a hunting site or a farming site. If I thought it was impossible, I wouldn't have you pulled. Okay, a little bit less debris. Nothing like some smashy smash. Why aren't we uh, butchering? What's going on with the butchery? All right, I'm just gonna tell Shield to do it. I don't know why we have so many animals just sort of piling up here. We could get a mech link and sell it. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I'm not even necessarily against getting a mech link and using it. It's just... We don't allow for the removal of pollution through... Or the generation of pollution. Which means... There's only so much I can even do with a mech. Alright, we are not going to take that quest. Kind of wish that there was better rewards. Oh man, having a kid clean up pollution just feels wrong. Uh, the other thing is I don't have a spot for the pollution at the moment, so I have to create another spot here for Tox. So the toxic waste packs that were hauled out here, have they fully decayed? Yeah, they're, they're fully decayed. Okay. So this tree could take uh, maybe 15 waste packs. Oh, no, it's not good. Destroyers having a heart attack. 
Uh, Cam, where are you? Shay, go regen. And Cam, you quit eating. You don't eat through a heart attack. That just seems ridiculous. Okay, he's not having a heart attack anymore. He's 71 years old, so he's kind of old. Um, meaning that, you know, heart attacks are probably pretty common at his age. Then he's got a scarred up torso, so there's no telling it where the uh, heart hit. You know, I just realized this was supposed to be Marty's bed. And uh, Marty's been sleeping with seven children in the room. That's got to be like the biggest whopping migraine imaginable. Where are not Marty? Your name is now Shell. I was looking for a Marty. There we go. Fixed it. You're welcome. You're welcome, Shell. Wait, what kind of tattoo is that? You've got a spade tattooed on your head? Maybe de-age in the boss sculptor? We could. Uh, one of the issues with, with de-aging is um, we don't have the precept for accelerated biosculpting. And that means that Destroyer would have to spend a considerable amount of time sitting in a biosculptor to avoid uh, age-related um, health problems. So, it's possible... It's not efficient, uh, and it's expensive, power and nutrients. Yeah. So I'm not saying no, but definitely one of those, like, eh, we should probably have a meeting about this first type of situations. So I got a warning about Tinctoria rotting. Oh, it doesn't show me where it is. Because I'm a little worried. If Tinctoria is rotting, I'm a little worried that um, this setup here is not going to work. Is it better just to buy it, bionic them? You could always install a bionic heart. You can't get a heart attack in a bionic heart. So that's a pretty viable solution. Um, it's not going to stop uh, frail or cataracts or... So there's a lot of age-related diseases of which you can offset. Like... Um, a bad back, you could do a bionic spine, or cataracts, you could do bionic eyes, or heart attacks, you could do bionic heart. But then some things like frail, you just can't reverse. The only way to reverse that now would be de-aging or genetics, genetic implantation, if we had, um, if we had the gene pack for it, which we don't. I haven't really done any gene packing. Also, where is my weapons? The uh, trader that I called in, like, forever ago. It's going to show up now, isn't it? Because that's been the uh, that's been the trend. I just have to complain first to the manager, like a Karen. And then it's like, oh, yep, sorry, uh, we're still coming. So it is September 5th. Tomorrow, I'm going to do the chocolate harvest. And I guess I have a lot more, eight more children to feed chocolate to. Almost feel bad for my own colonists because they're not going to yield the fruits of their own labor because the refugees had nothing to do with the sowing of the chocolate trees. But whatever, I know how to share. I'm not a jerk. I'm not a Scrooge McDuck. Halloween for kids. Yeah, I mean, it is September, right? Oh, well, that's a building. We don't need to smash that. I'm just trying to make things look nicer. Some of these don't even yield resources. 
It'd be funny if the ancient Toxifier generators yielded Tox Packs if you ever smashed them. Meaning that it would be like in your disadvantage too. If I coded the game, I probably would have done that. As a secret little gotcha. But I'm a bit of a masochist, so don't listen to me. All right, Kadath, I'm going to switch back to your longsword. And Hillary, thank you for the resub. 39 months. Holy cow. You've got to be one of the first. How you are not one of the uh, original um, founders, I have no idea. Does anyone feel bad for S.H.I.E.L.D. and the amount of cooking that he has to do? He's having to cook for 23 people. They really need to add a trading spot mod. I don't necessarily disagree. Oh, Lady Shell, thank you for the bits. Holy cow. Cheers. Is my ASCII art up to a vault girl or boy? Even if it was, uh, it's definitely not big enough for any sort of recognizable art, I think. So where did the, uh, where did the talks go? The, the packs that we had. Oh, they're hauling them now. Okay. So those are the last detox lungs and these are bound for cam. Technoir, your surgery success chance is 94%. Yeah, plus the benefits of vitals monitor, bed, and industrial meds probably is 100%. Let's hope we don't have another Shea. First one pass. Second one passed. Okay, good. Phew. So Cam, that means you need a metal helmet instead of gas mask, so I'll get one. Children, how was your lessons? Most are pretty good, 80s and 90s. Combat supplier's finally here. And brother of stickiest named Carpath is coming in. You are a baseliner and stickiest is also a baseliner. All right, tis the time for chocolates. Thank you for tuning in to Doomsday Vault, which originally streamed live on Twitch, November 15th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Special thank you to my Patreon patrons, to web subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. I'll catch you in the next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Doomsday Vaulters.